But we begin with New York City's star attraction this summer, Hudson Yards. I mean, it is a city within a city, you know, it's located between 10th Avenue and, and 11th Avenue uh, on, the, on the Hudson River. We are lucky enough to welcome the globe here at Hudson Yard, so it's really a crossroads because we're at the top of the High Line. Threads through from Chelsea to the Meatpacking District, and it creates a whole other neighborhood for people to enjoy. Seven years of construction has brought residential buildings, offices for some 40,000 workers, shops, 25 restaurants, loads of visitors, and of course, the vessel. Open since mid-March, it's a Manhattan must-see, with over half a million visitors already. It's the, really the centerpiece of Hudson Yards. We wanted to basically find something that was a great gathering space. It's a participatory experience. There's 80 landings. Uh, people spend 10 minutes on it or five hours enjoying the photography and the perspective. It's copper cut steel, so it will maintain this incredible uh, reflection to the world um, forever. Admission is free, but you need a ticket, which can be booked 14 days in advance, or you get in line and get the next available time. If you choose that option, there's plenty to keep you engaged while you wait, like the shed. The Shed is a 200,000 square foot cultural art center, strictly for new work. Despite its homespun name, it's a remarkable piece of architecture, complete with galleries, stages, and studio, which can transform into an outdoor arena thanks to a movable shell. If sightseeing has given you an appetite, perhaps taking your palate on a quick trip to Spain will revitalize you. Mercado Little Spain is uh, an homage to all things Spanish, so it's a gift of Spain to our country and to New Yorkers. Um, it's a mecca of Spanish food and culture. It's the brainchild of Jose Andres, the award-winning chef also known for his humanitarian work in Puerto Rico and feeding furloughed federal workers. Three restaurants and 15 open-air kiosks reflect authentic samplings from Spain's distinct regions like paella cooked old school style. If you want to go to Lenya, which is our full service restaurant, Catalonian style, which means everything is cooked with either wood or charcoal. There's no gas. Paella uh, is remarkably well received. Uh, we sold 500 plates of paella on Saturday afternoon. It was the quicker they came off the fire, the faster they were sold. Part of the fun is being able to watch chefs make their creations using all fresh ingredients. Whether it's breakfast favorites like tortillas to patatas or their best-selling churros. First, the machine that makes the churro is from Spain. The flour that we use to make the churros is from Cuenca, Spain. So actually we are, we are bringing even the flour to make churros from Spain. So it tastes exactly the same in a churreria from Spain. I'm very really of churros. Some ingredients are sourced directly from Spain. Others grown right on site. But no matter what the dish, the mission is to educate as well as nourish. Because Mercado is not just a place that serves good food and good drinks. It's a place where you can learn about Spain through their food. I've had the pleasure of opening a place that talks about Spain in New York, in, in the heart of the world. We have to do it right. Chef masters came from Spain to train the cooks, like the proper way to make cocas, popular on the Mediterranean coast. Coca is a baked flatbread. There's different cocas, savory, salty, and sweet cocas. Here we have uh, the dough, a dough that has been proofed two days. So one of the characteristics of the coca is that we don't melt the cheese. It's not a pizza. Well, the ingredients are so good because it takes time to make it could happen. For example, this, this delicious manchego has been cured for 12 months and it's made with raw sheep milk. That jamón iberico de bellota has been cured for four years. So now here we have the oven is at 650 Fahrenheit, super hot. What an amazing coca, you're gonna smell, you're gonna smell them. If you treat every ingredient with love, food is love, cooking is love. A hotel is coming soon, but for us lucky New Yorkers, Hudson Yards is accessible by master.